What is the crack, lads, and welcome back to another weekly roundup of news. This time we're taking a look at every single bit of news that has dropped for V2.2. We know a lot about what this season is going to entail now. Uh, firstly, we're going to get straight into it, lads, and keep it as short and sweet as possible, but cover every bit of detail that is there. So, the official Konami account eFootball play underscore eFootball tweeted out about an hour ago, V2.2 update release date is coming the 16th of November. So please use the official website for an overview, which we'll get to in a second. Season 2 is being called the Football Festival, and that will kick off on the 17th after the maintenance ends. So maintenance is on from now, tomorrow, and then the 16th, the servers are going to get back turned on, and then the new season is going to kick off on the 17th. This is something that I kind of predicted way back when uh, and it kind of links up with a lot of the stuff that they're trying to do right they say that throughout the season will be holding a wide variety of national team events in game trial match will be available during the maintenance period and also there is a load of new information here so straight away right we have already got the date this is just on the official website obviously if you go and log in it'll say that the large scale maintenance is underway we'll be holding a special campaign after the maintenance ends big chance for you to earn up to 150 e-football coins 750,000 gp and 100 thousand trainer points so yeah i mean as of right now the servers are offline it's doing the large scale maintenance as you can see here and all you can do is play the offline trial matches against the ai or against another opponent um but everything else is offline as you see here there is nothing else online at all until the 17th so it says that service will resume after after that uh, area by area but anyway back to this back to all our news right so the v2.2 update it just tells you there again about the the release date it says about a chance deal as well now this is kind of the big uh meat and veg of the information here right so the team of east of season two is called the football festival there's a lot of interesting things in this and it does kind of paint a picture of where they want to bring the game which look all we're missing at the moment for me is content yeah the gameplay needs to improve we'll get into that in a future video later today but uh content 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 is key for this game at the moment just to have people playing it so they say that the first thing they're adding is to play as national team matches available for a limited time enjoy enjoy heated competition in the football festival with national representatives and your very own dream team so this is kind of cool right so the trial match is going to feature 40 national teams console users will also be able to play offline 2v2 so that means that co-op is coming soon it has to mean co-op is coming soon they're probably testing out to what the gameplay looks and plays like offline so that it's not crazy and it doesn't interfere with dream team and it doesn't interfere with people actually playing the game and buying coins and stuff um by going too crazy if there is a couple of things that need to be balanced and they just say that use your favorite national teams to show your true strength national teams will be available in trial match after installing v2.2 so that will be available on the 16th uh, they also say about the battle for ultimate national glory introducing the international cup experience an ai tournament event in which users take to the field so it's pretty much uh the world cup in ai form against it or in tournament form against the ai play matches to advance through the group stage and top of the opposition in a knockout stage fly the flag for your own national team or use your own favorite national teams and aim for ultimate glory so you can pick any national team that you want you basically play the group stages there's one of 46 available national teams you play the group stages you play the knockout stages and you go through the go through the cup it is an international cup a classic kind of pez international cup or konami cup uh with all the the, the international teams that are going to be adding in that uh for ultimate national glory as they're saying it and then they also say there's going to be limited time events in dream team every week we'll be introducing national team themed tour events and challenge events so new events new challenges coming uh the new challenge events require you to assemble a squad with players of certain nationalities or within a collective strength cap that is huge huge that is going to be massive if it works and if they actually have the cap say the cap is like 2250 you won't get many players that are going to be the superstar you know like really really beefy meta players um so a lot of my squad builders that i'm going to be doing are going to be very interesting for that we have a few more coming today and you guys know that all those players are tested and stuff like that um and the budget ones and stuff and it says to field your best team while fulfilling the event conditions you will be amazed at the importance and endless possibilities of player applications so that sounds really exciting um i hope that that's kind of expanded a little bit more because that'll be mean that you're not coming up against the same Haaland and Mbappe uh Neymar Messi every single game you're coming up against guys that there is a reason for you now having a team of players you know that are maybe five players from Wales five players from 
uh, Brazil, four players from Cameroon and stuff like that. With a total prize pool of 1 million eFootball coins to be split among users, this is the nation-based competition. Uh, the big event eFootball International Cup is now underway. Enter your own country, region, or your favourite national team and are contribute with a goal or a win. So that is also the eFootball International Cup that they're talking about there. They've already kind of... Um, explained all that now we're going to get into that in a second because there is a couple of things added to that but we're we're going to get back in a minute they also talk about heroes of the nation so we've seen a couple of these you can see here that we have the epic big time cards they're calling it uh you can see a 99 rated maradona and 90 and 97 rated neymar maxed out uh national selection on monday sensational talent from national teams will be introduced with a distinctive team we've seen a lot of those already so so we have these over on our Twitter on the eFootball DB actual Twitter. We have there's a, a better picture of them here. But these are kind of the special team cards. We've already seen those. And then they're also adding these ones as well. So you've got Maradona. Now there's a load of these. There's a load more than these. But they have their own kind of like, you know, national team flag background or the Brazil background or the Argentinian or Portuguese background. And then there's different versions of cards. So the Benzema is an ambassador card. And then Neymar and Messi are hero cards, as you can see there. And then they talk about the International Cup Player of the Week international players. So standout players in international fixtures will be introduced and powered up to reflect their, remark their remarkable performance so that's going to be similar to uh instead of club players obviously coming out every week uh you're going to have the international players that are playing well in the real life world cup and then they have brand new epic player cards every thursday some of the best soccer players from past and present will have their standout season recreated as epic players as an additional team to epic big time pickups the match that ricocheted those players to superstardom these player cards feature special card designs and the player's faces are faithfully reproduced in-game to reflect those specific moments in their careers. So that means that Neymar is probably going to have his custom hairstyle or his hairstyle back in 2014. So Messi, uh, Maradona will have his appearance. So yeah, I mean, that's again similar to the iconic moment cards. Uh, again, really, really interesting for that. The commentary will also be helping make to special, making special remarks for certain players. This help creates an immersive experience as if you were watching live broadcasts and bore witness to those unforgettable moments in real time these players will also be able to perform a monumental celebration which is the exact goal celebration that they performed in the highlight of match that looks pretty cool as well um so it'll be interesting to see what players they actually bring because that is a new card that hasn't been released yet that maradona card um so yeah that'll be very interesting and then they're introducing a series of 11 player sets with original card designs um these are very similar to the club packs that they already have, except these are going to be national team packs. You will find one newly introduced big time player as a centerpiece of the team. And then there's going to be four types of national team packs will be available for purchase. Other European teams will be getting their own national pack in due course. So I reckon we're probably going to get maybe 12 to 16 national team packs because the World Cup is going on for a while. Now, the one that interests me lads the most is Match Pass. We talked about a lot of uh, Match Pass on the podcast when we were talking about different things. And this sounds music to my ears because I like to play the game for my own enjoyment. I don't need to be a top 100 player in the game because like, I don't want to be that kind of like dedicated to it um, in terms of like playing the meta, playing a one-dimensional brand of football like a lot of the time. Yeah, you can get to Division 1 playing like out wide and playing possession football um, if you get low lucky uh like myself or if you're a very good player or a mixture of both but i think to be like at the tippy the top of all of it you need to play three bar pass assists you need to play the three strikers up front you need to play three center backs with a left or right uh back, full back um but yeah this match pass can kind of like include a lot of guys that just want to have a bit of fun and want to do a lot of content with it so this they talk about match pass as an addition that will surely help you further strengthen your dream team match pass is an in-game reward system which you can earn a wide variety of rewards by completing the indicated number of matches you can get nominating contracts training programs and stuff like that everything else that you see there as well as players coins matches played in online quick match frame match trial match or training are not eligible so this is literally just for uh dream team the actual real dream team matches that you play um regular match pass is available for free and then you can use coins to buy the value match pass or the premium match pass obviously the value match pass has better rewards than the free one and the premium match pass has better rewards than the free and the value 
value match pass and then the inclusion of match pass you will be to earn more rewards with each match so they'll probably like um you know like stack up on each other so lads there's a there's a there's a there's a massive amount of news coming here that's kind of like content related we've got an international cup we've got a match pass we've got 2v2 offline we've got 40 new national teams we've got new player cards uh that have like custom and epic uh selections and also custom appearances custom celebrations new commentary um we've got the international cup uh we have got the obviously the the offline world cup as i said there um now i want to talk about this right so this is one thing as well that they've added and they've added this in the actual uh international cup now originally they said here that in the international cup you had to be a top rank you had to be in division one and then you would be a representative in vision in division one right um and then once you were in division one you played your division matches in division one and then the, the the highest rated guys in that division were representatives right so they talked about representatives here but they've added this new bit called weekend showdown so it says that it's an in-game event that takes place during the weekends does that sound familiar to you guys because it does if you're thinking about FIFA. The country region rankings are de determined by the amount of points accumulated by the top 50 ranked users. So that's going to be very interesting, man. And it says that weekend showdown is to be held from Fridays to Mondays. And then it says that the results reflecting the rankings are based on the country region selected at the time of entry. Only 15 matches are ta tallied for ranking. So it pretty much looks like it is a weekend league. They also have goals galore. Join forces with users from your chosen country to rise to the top of the goal score rankings. All goals scored between the end of the maintenance and the start of the maintenance on the 12th or, or the 15th of December um, will be included. And then that's obviously only for eFootball League. Revo re final results uh, reflected in the rankings are based in the country region again so it's only for eFootball league and for the events the online events and then they also have these points and rewards right but it says like we've already covered this in the last in the last um episode but they've added or they've added the last video i did this but they've added a lot of kind of new information on it um so when you click on the list of eligible uh countries say for example like ireland aren't there um and Italy aren't there, right? Well, Italy, sorry, Ireland aren't there, but Italy are there, right? So it's very interesting how they've actually done this um, because they obviously want to get the max amount of players playing as possible. So it's mostly the players and the teams that are actually in the World Cup, but Colombia are also there as well. So it's very interesting that way um, to see like what teams they've actually included. But there's a lot of information there based on how you actually do it. So it says starting on the 17th or the yeah, 17th to the 11th, your ranking is tallied every Thursday at the time. The basis for your rank will be the base team chose at the time of the previous regular maintenance. So it talks about like it needs to be your region, but then it talks about you're able to pick any team that you want. So there is still a little bit of confusion after that. Um, it says your configured base team will be deemed as your country region of entry. And then above here, it says that it has to be your country region, you know, that it's locked that you picked your country region when you're signing up for the terms and conditions online. So we will get a bit more information on that. I will try to reach out to a few people and uh, get some, you know, accurate information back. But that is it, lads. That is it for me. I'll be back quite soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it is Roundup V2.2. Let me know your thoughts. Are you excited about this? Are you kind of still waiting for other things to come? They don't mention gameplay, but I'm sure we will get a lot of gameplay stuff from what I've heard. And um, I will have more information on that soon. Don't forget to subscribe, lads. Peace.